iSpring Suite's powerful Quizmaker utility allows you to create 11 graded and 12 survey questions. In this series of tutorials, we will take a closer look at each of them, paying attention to the customization options they offer. This tutorial shows you how to add true-false, multiple choice, and multiple response questions. True-false is the simplest question format, where a quiz taker is to choose whether the given statement is true or false. Just enter the question body here, then select the correct answer. You can change these labels to say whatever you want. For example, yes, no. To preview the current question, go to the Preview drop-down and select Preview Question. Here you will see a fully interactive preview of your question. Now let's see what a multiple choice question looks like. Here you give a quiz taker several options to choose from and select a correct one. If you like, you can select whether or not to automatically shuffle the answers for this question. If the shuffle option is unchecked, you can select an answer choice and change its position in the list by clicking these arrows. You can also delete answer choices and add new ones by clicking these buttons. To see more options, right-click an answer choice. In addition to the options we just saw on the right, you can also duplicate an answer choice or lock its position in the list. That way, even if you choose to shuffle the answer choices, it will always appear in this position. Now let's go to the question preview to see how this question looks. A variation on multiple choice is the multiple response question. The difference here is that more than one of the answers can be correct. Once you're done filling out your question, Check the boxes next to all the correct answers. If you select more than one, it's possible for a student to get this question partially correct. To learn more about handling partially correct answers, see the tutorial on question defaults in iSpring QuizMaker. Now let's take a quick look at this question in the question preview. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.